Thanks, Dan. And thanks, Shandy, for, for joining me here again to continue our conversation about women in investing. Yeah, absolutely. So, so last time you were here, just to recap a little bit, you, you talked about why it's so important for, for women, women to invest. Uh, but this time I'd like to ask you about uh, some recent studies that, that have been done that, that provided some very interesting results. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, Fidelity and several other companies and universities, in fact, have done some really fantastic studies and we can learn a lot from them. And so I know the last time I was here, I I uh, referenced a study that Fidelity had done uh, in 2021 where they looked at female and male investors over a 10-year time frame and they found that female investors had outperformed their male counterparts by about half a percent. Uh, and so it doesn't sound like a crazy amount, but with the power of compounding, uh, that can be quite significant and resulting in potentially hundreds of thousands of dollars. That's really interesting that that, that came up. What was it that, that uh, women investors were doing that resulted in, in those um, those higher returns. Yeah, and I think that is the most important thing we can take from these studies is that uh, we can learn a lot from them. And so regardless of gender, uh, we can all become better investors. And so there are many findings, uh, but three of the more notable ones I will mention. And so the first was avoiding high-risk trends. And so women in general tended to avoid investing in these high-risk trends. An example would be something like cryptocurrency. And so yes, can we make money doing these things of course however there is a high risk of significant losses and so women just tended to avoid them entirely and this behavior actually contributed to having that higher rate of return over that time frame uh, the second thing was to stay calm during market volatility and so in general women were found to be less impulsive during times of market volatility and it can be hard to stay calm when markets are shaky but it can save you a lot of money if you're in invested in a good investment, the best thing you can do is ride out the storm and focus on those long-term goals. And that is in fact what women tended to do uh, from that study. Uh, the third and final one is to have a more of a buy and hold strategy and that can significantly increase your overall rate of return. And so a study done uh, by the University of California actually supported this as well where they found men traded 45% more than women and this result resulted in them having a reduced rate of return of 2.65% versus women having a reduced rate of return of 1.72. And so the key takeaway here is that actually both parties reduce their rate of return by their trading activity. So the best thing we can do is actually buy high quality investments and hold them for a long time and that will increase our overall rate of return. And so my hope from these studies is twofold. Uh, one is that we can all become better investors, regardless of our gender, uh, by learning these things and the different behaviors that we have. Uh, the second is, uh, like I had mentioned last time I was here, is that women tend to invest less than men. And so um, Fidelity actually, uh, before they did this study, they asked women if they thought that men were better investors, and a whopping 91% of them said yes. And so my hope from these studies is that they can actually see that they do have all the tools to be great investors. And in fact, we all do. So we can all learn from this. Great. Well, that's, that's uh, as always, a lot for people to think about, uh, for all investors to think about. So thank you very much. You bet. Thank you so much. Hi.